If you've got one of those all day hydronic heaters in your RV, sooner or later, you're gonna need this. The all day heater works by circulating a heated liquid up and down the RV. It's quiet, it's silent, it's a radiant heat, but it needs that liquid. And there is a reservoir inside your RV that you need to check at the start of every season. And if you camp in the winter time, well, you're gonna wanna check it a couple of times because that liquid can be depleted and you wanna make sure you monitor that reservoir to see how much fluid is in it. What's the fluid that you should put? This stuff, it's called Cryotech. You can get it at Home Depot, uh, or you can do as we did, just order it on Amazon and they'll deliver it to you in a day or two. Now I'm gonna show you how you put it in and where you find the reservoir. So where is that reservoir for that fluid? Well, it's in here. Now this happens to be where we normally keep some kitchen supplies and towels. You can remove the shells. I've taken out one already and just taken the other, they just slip out. Here is the uh, antifreeze coolant, the reservoir that you need to check. Now there's a little cover on it. You can loosen that with some screws. Un uh, unscrew that top and that's where you'll put it. Now I know mine is empty and uh, that's where I have to put the, the fluid. All right, first thing I want to do is I want to take this whole, this whole contraction off this plastic shield. It just has a couple of screws. And I want to show you another little tip. You can barely see it here. That's the maximum line and that's the minimum line. So you don't want to go over that and you don't want to be under that, but it's very hard to see. So what I have done is I have taken a little magic marker and I just kind of will roughly approximate those two lines. So I know that I want my fluid to be between those two levels. All right, uh, take a paper towel because you're pouring this stuff and it's pink and it's kind of yicky. You don't want to have that a uh, mess. Um, Jennifer's shooting this video, so I have to be really careful. All right, I'm gonna pour it in and I wanna make sure I'm in between those levels. You can feel it going down. Hear it going? I'm right at the maximum level now, and we'll see how if any more drains down. Looks good. All right, we've got it filled to the maximum. We'll put that back in, and I'll put the put this uh, special case. By the way, uh, the screws that they use in this are the ones that. Uh, Roadtrek has that little special screwdriver for, so that'll that'll be the screws. Now let me put that in and we'll load the shelves back in and we're good to go. While we're at it, let's show you a few things about the Aldi. It's all controlled by this modern programmable touch screen. Uh, see this top thing up here? That's the where you set your temperature. I want to give you a little hint. If you're driving in the winter or it's very cold and it gets cold in the back end of the coach, pop that up. You can control that. I would, I would put that up, you know, up maybe around 70 or so. And what that will do is, uh, even without the rest of it being on, is that will circulate that uh, hot uh, glycol and it will warm the back of your coach from the engine, from your engine. That's pretty cool. But this is also your thermostat when you turn it on. This is how you turn on the hot water heater. You can see this little hot shower there. That is for electricity. If you're plugged into shore power, it will kick on a little bit of power. We never use that. We prefer taking a little space heater rather than using that. But this is the propane, or in uh, some of the models, it would be the diesel uh, burner. And uh, that's how you do it. You just would turn that on and uh, it's off now because uh, we're still in Florida. We're going up where it's going to be cold, but we're in Florida. And I'm going to drop that back down because if it gets too hot in the back, that's why, because you're recirculating that uh, engine heat. But this is very easy to control, and uh, the thermostat does just a great job. And it's quiet. You don't have any noise with it. But you got to make sure you've got that reservoir full. Now, my reservoir was completely dry, and uh, this is the gallon. I used about half of it filling it up, and I'm going to carry it with us because we're heading off into cold weather and this way it'll always be with us and if it goes down again I've got the antifreeze to put right back in that reservoir. 
Okay, there's just no getting around it. We're going to be heading into cold weather and uh, now you know how to make sure your Aldi is ready for it. Problem is, we're not ready for it. We have to leave the palm trees of Florida to the coals of the north. But hey, we love winter camping and with our heater all set to go, we know we'll be comfortable. Hey, thanks for tuning in and watching this video, guys. Before we leave, we wanted to let you know about our new lookbook that we've put together for you. You can now find all the products, all the items that we feature in our videos on our easy-to-use lookbook series. You can click on any product in the lookbook and be bought directly to the point of purchase on the web store. You can find the link in the description below, so check it out now. I'm Mike Wendland. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube RV Lifestyle channel.